All I wanted to do was film a quick video and everything is going wrong. I just shattered a bottle of wine. Hello one, hello all. I'm Holly Fortune and today I wanted to do a zoom in on a product that I recently bought. Strap in. We're gonna go over everything about this $300 robe. I know. It's a little crazy. I think I have to wear it if I'm gonna talk about it at least, you know? <laughs> Maybe this could be a tax write-off. And it is just a beast. It would have been hard to hold it the whole time and not wear it. It is full disclosure. I turned the AC on to 75. So this is bearable, but it's a warm day in Texas. <laughs> and I don't know if I could wear this with the heater on. Um, I don't know, it's like, 72 degrees outside right now with like a cold chill. So here I am with the home coat. <laughs> Check out these shoulders. <laughs> so originally I thought I would title this video, I bought a $300 robe, why I don't regret it. But now I'm not so sure. This robe is $295. People knew I wanted it, I had made it clear, and I got $50 for my significant other to go to this purchase as a Christmas present. And then I was gifted $150 from other sources as well that I decided to completely funnel into this purchase. That means for me, that comes out to about $95. Not as bad as it would be to have just dropped $295 of my own money on something, definitely. Um, I timed this out, I'd been thinking about it for a couple months, and it seemed like a good way to treat myself because a lot of my money is put into savings, a uh, Roth IRA, or it just sits in my checking and it doesn't ever get to go to a special cause. So I thought this would be a good way to say, here is a proper present, enjoy it, enjoy the money that you make and the money that people give to you rather than letting it sit somewhere and ultimately become grocery money. So I think that was the right thing to do. Let me know, what do you do with your gifted money? What percentage of it goes to life building and actual gifts for yourself? Please let me know, because I'm definitely in that stage of my life where I'm divvying up appropriately. Let's talk more about the why about this brand. This robe is from a brand called Off Hours, and it is called the Home Coat, if you haven't catched on by now. Their motto is inactive wear for being indoors, and that only makes sense for the kind of life that we are all living and have been living since nearly the beginning of 2020, for reasons. This brand couldn't have come at a seemingly better time. This is when I started to see them uplifted by another brand called Gossamer. I found it and as someone who is in a marketing agency, I just loved the way that this thing was being marketed. And that is truly what got me. Just seeing these photos of people lounging in these giant coats and all of the rhetoric of people from the reviews saying that their significant other and them have a robe and that one of them tries to wake up earlier than the other so that they can get to wear the robe in the morning so that they can be nice and toasty while they make breakfast for the other one. There were definitely a lot of intentional things happening on the website and on Instagram, beautiful photo shoots that are making this a seemingly high-end brand, super desirable. And I think if anything, I fell for that or I admire it as someone who is in marketing. So it worked. <laughs> Congratulations, you got me. I'm assuming that if you found this video, you also have some sort of interest in this coat and you stumbled upon it. So comment below, let me know, how did you learn about this coat? And was it the same way I did? What are your feelings on it if you don't have it already? I think that the price, again, has to do with the demand. I don't necessarily believe that the materials are reflective of the price point. I know that in most cases, fashion does not equal, it goes both ways. Fashion can be either priced truly cheaped out and then people are not paid a proper wage for their work, but there's nothing about this, I'm trying to say, that radiates sustainability or ethics. And so it kind of goes against my purchasing compass to get something like this. And I think that part of the reason why I justified it was that hoping the price point ensures that the people that create the thing are properly compensated. Do with that what you will. It is not a US made brand. And if that is a deal breaker for you, then 
find something else that's more local, made to you, support an artist near you, um, let me know what robe you think might be a more ethical choice if that's something that you're betting. Let's go into my initial thoughts, starting with the box. So I have it right over here. There's nothing notable about the packaging that I received this in. I'll even insert a clip here of what the bag looked like. I did note that it was a biodegradable plastic-esque bag. So that always makes me happy, but it's honestly like the minimum you could expect from something this expensive. The box is made from recycled materials and here on the inside, there's nothing like colorful or particularly aesthetic about the box, but that's a little bit in line with their branding as well. I wouldn't expect them to have like a super colorful package and it's really airs on the side of informational. So another flag that I got here, there's even a note here about unboxing. It suggests that I hang it overnight. Um, no, I didn't do that. I, I put it right on and I found this video. So I didn't do that. Uh, <laughs> you can knock off points for that. And really the only thing I wanted to talk about in particular is that for washing, it says that you shouldn't wash it on high heat or you shouldn't put it in the dryer. Okay, duh, I know that. But um, it does suggest that you get it dry cleaned. And I think what I, my instinct says is wear this robe inside, don't wear it outside. And then if you really love it and enjoy it, get it dry cleaned in a few months. I have some thrifted items that instruct to be dry cleaned. And if I'm being honest, they have never once been dry cleaned. So um, reading that was a little bit worrisome, but I'm just gonna have to cross that bridge when I get there. But another deal breaker if that stands out to you. I also wanna point out, don't I just look a little bit Kanye-esque? Like very box man. I've yet to take photos in this, but I feel I'm getting a streetwear look. Also, this color really speaks to me. So let's, <laughs> before going there, let's talk about the pros and the cons of this jacket. Pro, I felt like I was supporting a pretty cool company that had funneled a lot of money into photographers and a marketing team. And that's my field. That's something I really like and I wanna support. Con, talked about this a little bit. I'm not sure how ethical it is, and if that is something that bugs you, it's gonna keep you awake at night when you're snuggled up in your robe, then no, this is probably not the robe for you, not yet until they decide to educate their audience more on this and to make it more apparent. Pro, it's very thick. The inside is lined with a t-shirt material and the outside is cottony and I like it a lot. Like there's nothing wrong with the quality of the coat but there's also nothing screaming to me about the quality of the coat. Another pro slash con, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy a robe again. I, this is it for me, basically. I have a light robe and I have this. So if I have those two covered from a minimalist standpoint, that should be it for me. So thinking about it as in an investment piece that I may choose to have for 10 years, um, okay, that seems like a really good deal. Do the math here, like, okay, that's fine. And I would rather pick a staple piece that is more money than buy a different robe every year to match how I'm feeling about the holidays and have tens of robes. And again, this is so funny to me because it's like, when was the last time I chose to wear a robe? When I was maybe 12, <laughs> I had a Victoria's Secret robe from my mom. So it's a, it's a strange purchase for me, but I think I've made myself clear as to how they jimmied me in as a customer. If you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram and my plan is to add any noteworthy updates over there about the robe. I often post about random stuff and I think this robe will probably come up. So another con is that I live in Texas and <laughs> that says it all. It's pretty hot here. How many months of the year am I gonna wear this? My apartment is kept relatively cool, so fingers crossed. A bit of that is I referenced that review story that spoke to me about the couple and both of them wanting to share this coat. They specifically said that they lived in New York and having a coat like this in New York, if you have a dog and you have to take it out in the mornings, this makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Tell me, are you from New York? And let me know if this is something that's interesting to you because I think that's their main demo. I think they want to target people in colder climates. Okay guys, I went over it all. I wanted this to be a relatively short video, just helpful if anyone else is going through, should I or shouldn't I buy this? If I make some more investment purchases, 
I'll be sure to update my channel with videos about those. Let me know, was this helpful? Is there anything else you need to know? If you comment, I will reply. I have the time. Let's talk. Hit subscribe if you want to see whatever I'm doing next. I'm interested too. What will I do next? Who knows? <laughs> Until then, see you guys.